Ray T Boss, the host of Dallas After Dark, Trio Gang TV, and I'm sitting right here with a beautiful co host. Tuesdays in the building. Already know it's about to go down, man. We're bringing the hottest artists, we're bringing the hottest music to your television. So stay tuned. Dadsandfathers.tv, Trio Gang TV is going down. You've been into an automobile accident. I'm sure you're worried about medical bills, lost wages, and getting real compensation for your pain and suffering. But relax, I got you. I'm attorney Roderick White, and I've been fighting insurance companies since 2002. It's what I do, it's all I do. Never settle for less. Call us at 214 or 817, I got you. That's 214 or 817, 446, 8968. Have you ever had a question related to child support, divorce, CPS? Call the attorney general or maybe an attorney and they just gave you a runaround? Where do you go to get help? Contact Dad's Fathers of Texas. Yes, they are child support specialists. Dad's Fathers of Texas can answer your question, help file paperwork, and help find a family law attorney. Dad's Fathers of Texas, making child support simple. And we're back, Dallas After Dark, Trill Gang TV, man. I'm your boy, Ray T. Boston, with my co-host, Roy Teasy, man. It's about to go down, man. I got a special, special announcement for y'all Dallas folks out there. I got two. Not one, but I got two legends in the game, man, right here, right now on Dallas After Dark TV, man. Y'all at home and y'all peep out in the crowd. Y'all give it up for Mr. Pookie and Mr. Nucci, man. Yeah. Shout out to the On this legendary cats that just walked in, y'all see them, man. Pookie and Luch in the building, man. Dallas After Dark, Trio Gang TV, man. So, uh, Pookie, we'll start with you, man. Can, let's, let's get a little history on how, you know, you all involved and where you at, and you know what I'm saying? Just a little something for the people out there, man. Where you come from? Hey, man, I'm Dallas, Texas, finest, man. I, I stay all around D Town, you know, every side of town that y'all call the hood. I done stayed there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but I put it down on the north side, so that's where I say I'm from. North, north. Uh, All right. Um, hey, what else can I say? Uh, most uh, independent single uh, record sold in Dallas, Texas ever, still to this day. Man, that's what's up, man. Setting goals, man. Y'all need to, you know, step your levels up now. You know what I'm saying? Lucy, Lucy, what's up, baby? Man, you over there, you toasted? Man, I'm just in this. Okay, all right, all right. So we're gonna keep it censored, you know, TV, television. Oh, my it's all good. Right. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about where you come from, man. I know y'all come from, you know, part of the north. We, all, we, we both from the north, you know what I'm saying? Okay. We just was on a uh, different scene. I was on the uh, Forest Lane end, closer to 75, him to Park Stokes, and bro was on the D end. But, you know, we ended up linking up. Man, that's what's up. Man, y'all boys are heavy in the game, man. Y'all got some history, man, behind y'all belts, man. 16 years. 16 man. years. So, I mean, this ain't no, no, just no overnight success, man. Y'all boys right, been man. really pushing and grinding. Oh, yeah. And I salute that, man, because a lot of artists out here today, man, don't even know what that is. You know what I'm saying? Right. They think grinding is in the studio making music all day, you know what I'm saying? Tell a little bit, you know, elaborate on, you know what I'm saying, what it takes and, and the goals and stuff that you got, you know, to get to this type of level you are right now. Dedication, you know what I'm saying, with the love for what you're doing, really. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. I love music, right. so I was rapping, you know what I'm saying? I was all way into it, so to, to start rapping after that, it was just a plus for me, you know what I'm saying? But dedication, man, you got to want to, Know what you want and go for it. You know what I'm saying and keep. Right. Ready. So keep did you do it. music in school? Were you in the school? I did. Music? You know what? In second grade, I used to play the piano. 
Okay. okay. I, I had a few recitals and everything, you know. But I wish I'd have stayed at it though. Right. Yeah. I, I'd be making my own piece. That yeah. would have been. Right. Like, I've been like Pimp C. Uh, I lost that though, man. But I, st I always stayed in the music. That's what's up. What about you, Lucy, man? What, what what kind of past history you, you kind of influenced you to kind of, you know, be that that lyricist, man? I, man, I, I love your music, man. I grew up on the music, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the, what, I, what I grew listening to. Like you just said, Pimpin' Bun, yeah. LG, Twister, you know, Face. I grew up listening to different music, so it, it you know, it bred something different out of me. Just oh, like really? the generation now. But you know what you were just talking about as far as uh, how they don't grind as hard as they do nowadays as it was back in the day? The way it's made now, they don't have to. You know, the way social media is made right now, they can sit in the studio and never once leave or go to a club or go to the streets and have a number one single or have a number one fan base of Twitter and follow you know, I'm cause now, that. yeah, because yeah, I mean now it's not even about music and, you know, uh, it's more lifestyle. People buy more right. into the lifestyle right. for right. the artists now. It ain't, exactly. about, it ain't got nothing to do with the music. The music helps, but they want to buy into the lifestyle. They'll support the realness of an artist more and they'll support the, uh, the niceness of his music, you know. That's what's up. So right. you think, you think uh, some of the artists for, for them to kind of elevate, you think they kind of need to go back to the roots and kind of, you know, grab some of that education, you know, the Harrison well, and I apply mean, it? It, it. It all helped, but at the same time, some of the stuff, but nah, because like, for example, like, we used to do retail runs. There's no use for them to get out there and try to do retail runs right now. There's not really any stores out there, you know? I mean, they might be some stores, but if they do a run, it'd be better to do a promo run in the streets and in the clubs and stuff. You know, same stuff, but just different targets because right, right. It, the, the, the industry's changing right now. So they just gotta, you gotta stay up with the industry. So how it changes, that's how you gotta come at it. That's what's up, man, that's what's up. So do you feel that the um, social media deal is affecting the artist, mm, let's say in a way of coming up as getting attention or having real fans? Do you think that's affecting the artist in any way, the social media? Pros and cons to everything, I think. You know, it's a good thing in a certain way and uh, a bad thing in certain ways. Like, for instance, back in when we was doing it, you, you know, you couldn't, it wasn't nobody on stage at the clubs. Like, if you didn't have no CD out uh, right. on the radio, nothing, wasn't nobody on stage. You wasn't on stage, you wasn't, they wasn't even talking to you about nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Already. You so, had to have that proof. Yeah, you, you had to have some map. They can be on stage and, and and practicing really, like, you know, so we yeah. have to practice a lot of it. And I come for our home so right, right. on the balcony, you know what I'm saying? Some of the clubs that y'all started out at. Oh on man, stage. it was uh well, Gigi's, 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 Park Avenue, right, right. Yeah. right. Yeah. They used to be old Beamer, huh? Lakeside, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lakeside. Yeah. 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 Hilltop Hotel, yeah. Yeah. you had a little... Uh, I know y'all down at Palm Beach. Yeah, oh, Palm Beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I already, I already. Uh, what was, what else was pumping? You know, Jamie's and all the tennis. Yeah, DMX, Jamie's DMX. Oh, yeah, phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what was up, man. Uh, Rockefeller. Yeah, y'all put in a lot of work, man, and you know, what I'm saying that's that's what's needed. You know, what I'm saying in this in this game right now, man, is a lot of hard work, dedication, and ambition, man. Uh, Y'all, you released the album back in, what, 1999? Yep. That was the first album? Yeah. Well, that was the second album out of our group. Uh -huh. K-Rock dropped first in 97. Okay. And uh, then I dropped in oh, 99. I was, uh, when K-Rock dropped, I was probably 19. Man, young guy, getting it. Yeah. Getting it. Yeah. And uh, when you, when did when y'all link up? Was it later down the line or yeah. was it around that time? Yeah, we, uh, we linked up in, what was it, 99? 98? 98? Yeah, it took me a you know, see, hey man, you know, it's a blessing, you know, they've been here for so long, grinding, and can be able to sit right here, man, together and talk, and, you know, it's a family, it's a family, for that's what it's all about, man, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, feeding your family, man, you know, taking care of your real friends, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of phonies is out there, you know what I'm saying, yeah, they're they're a friend, you know, hey, but at the same time, man, you know, um, like I said, I salute y'all, man. Y'all, y'all really done laid a, a whole path, and y'all have your own unique sound coming out of Dallas. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I appreciate that because you know that gives Dallas 
independence, you know, not trying to sound like nobody else or anything sure. like that. You know, I, I say Dallas, but I really mean Texas, because y'all, you know what I'm saying, really set the stamp for Dallas, Texas, and, you know, along with uh, DSR and stuff like that, and Gator Man, and, you know, people like that, man. I, I see y'all on that level of, you know, really achieving some real major goals, man, that a lot of artists out here is trying to do. You know, so man, I, I just appreciate that, Salute. man. That's what's up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we're going to talk about, you know, the uh, upcoming events y'all got coming up, man. But first, we're going to take a break. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be back with Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucci. You know what I'm saying? Dallas After Dark, True Gang TV, man. Hey. SBA Investor Ready Business Plans, written in 21 days. McDaniel Consulting is recognized as being business plan writer since 2001. Dallas Morning News, New York Times Magazine, and Women's Day Magazine attest to these facts. Business Plans, 214-349-6564. That's 214-349-6564 or www.mcbusinessplans.com. Have you ever had a question related to child support, divorce, CPS? Call the Attorney General or maybe an attorney and they just gave you a runaround? Where do you go to get help? Contact Dad's Fathers of Texas. Yes, they are child support specialists. Dad's Fathers of Texas can answer your question, help file paperwork, and help find a family law attorney. Dad's Fathers of Texas, making child support simple. And we back at Real Gang TV, Dallas South and North TV. I'm here with Roy TZ. I'm with Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucha, man, in the building. Legends, legends. Uh, when we left for the break, we was talking about how, you know, some of our local artists, the upcoming artists, you know, the difference between the grinding today and back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Like, like what can the artists do today, you know, that we was kind of doing back in the day? How can we apply that and kind of make it, make it work for them? The main thing is I say is uh, the relationships that you build with, you know, the uh, DJs, the radio personality that you got to talk to. You know what I'm saying? Even uh, even still, any retail people that's out there, that's it's still some. Right. But right. ain't ain't many. Right. Right. Mean, but it's still some. But build them relationships and keep those relationships right, because those relationships is makes your whole. It, you know, it'll it'll build your career. Uh, really? Yeah, not only that, man. Also, um, like with the social media blast that we were talking about earlier, bro, is like um, that right there is a map of its own. If you right. look at it and you do it right, bro, because it'll tell you. If you if you look at just say YouTube, because you know that social media, all that stuff, Twitter, your Facebook, mm -hmm. your YouTube, Instagram, all this, you know, all this stuff works. Because if you look at your analytics inside of your YouTube, it'll tell you what what state played your songs, what song got the most, you know, and you could just filter through that stuff, you know, okay, it's what they feeling for me, that's where I need to push. These are the markets that's that's feeling me, you know, if you if y'all don't know, if you go inside of your YouTube and you go inside of your stuff, you look in there, it'll tell you how many plays you get, how many minutes they listen to it, where they stop listening to it at, you know. So it's just stuff that you go through with that social media stuff that you can learn and build off of and take advantage of it because it's, 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 it's way cheaper, way easier to push through that social media as it is. And like right now, it's kind of hard for everybody to just jump up, you know, and, and spend the, you know, the, the, the five, six thousand dollars that's going to take to do a whole mm -hmm. road sure. trip run. Right, and you right. can just pay yeah, this cable bill, right, right. get right. Wi Fi straight, and go in all day long at home, you know. Yeah. Right, but right. you can't just stop there. You can't just use the social media. You have to also they get out there and work. Exactly. Yeah. Have to be faithful. Exactly. That's what's that. up. That's so it's, it's, it's a lot of tools, you know, in the social media that you can apply when you're out on the grind. Now, you know, a lot of the upcoming young artists don't really know the meaning of grinding. Uh, elaborate a little bit. Let them know what your meaning of grinding is. Then we'll go to you and we'll see what your meaning of grinding is. Well, working an album, you know what I'm saying, which is keying into everything, like the uh, autograph sign is got to find a place to pick those now. It ain't just like it was back in the day with us where you had to the stores. You know what I'm saying? They send you see you set up autograph sign and you meeting the people like that. You gotta find you a, a place to meet the people. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's the club or after your show, you know what I'm saying? You hand hand your music out, sign your autographs, wherever you can, you talk to the people. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And grind, you gotta go everywhere, everywhere you can. You know, if you're if you pushing in any other state and city, you need to go to those cities and states. You know exactly. what I'm saying? To to uh, follow up. You know what I'm right. saying? People need to place. see you. They hear you. If they hear you on the radio or however they catch you, you know they need to see your face too, though. Uh, really? What you think about it? Luke? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I feel the same thing, right? I feel the same thing as him. You know what I mean? I, um, yeah, I feel, I feel, I feel the same thing as him. You know, also like with that, um, with with the, with the grinding, though, man, it's like um, consistency, bro. Exactly. That's the main thing. Exactly. That's, that's, that's one of the worst I want to hear, man. Because man, that's a good point. you can yeah. go hard all week. And then, like me and my little bro, we been going hard about 13, 14 days straight before I thought I was going to go to jail on Wednesday. It's like, once I stopped Wednesday, once the judge told me I had another day, it's like my body just shut down. And you know then I said I kind of slowed back. But, you know, it's just it, it's just consistency, though. It just shows yourself, you know, your body your body really has no limits. The oh, body really? has no yeah. limits. As long as your mind's working, you really have no limits. Exactly. You think you have yeah, to I eat and drink and all this stuff, you don't. You man, I, I know, man. You can keep moving, you know what I mean? Man, but it's just, you gotta have that determination, know what you want, and just grind on. Like, 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 exactly. grind on. Man, for real, because, like, man, I, I can remember the time that, you know, me and my big bro, he's a Leo, man, was out there grinding, and, man, it wasn't, it wasn't no stopping point, you know what I'm saying? It was a quota, we hit the quota, we surpassed the quota, and we kept going. Yeah. You know, we, we, we ate when we, you know, when we shut down, you know what I'm saying? We, we sleep when we get home, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it was always a constant go, man. It was a constant go. It was like, man, we can get rid of these 100 CDs, and, and we, what are we going to do now? We need to get rid of another 100 CDs. Yeah. So, I mean, like you say, consistency is the key, man. You got to stay pushing, stay pushing all the time. Yes. And never give up. The grind don't stop, y'all. The grind don't stop. Out of sight, out of mind. Remember that. Exactly. Never get comfortable. Exactly, you know, man. You know, as soon as you get comfortable, somebody else gonna come sweep it up on you. Stay you know, focused, that's people. That's that's what's what's stay up. focused. Now, if you mention something, man, you about to go to jail. But I don't want to really talk about that, man. After wanna, the break, I want to. I want to talk about, you know, what I'm saying stuff. what we got present and right. you know what you got going right now. Cause this is legendary, man. This is a legendary interview, and this is gonna be Epic. looked at forever, man. And what we doing today? You know what I'm saying? Just like y'all did back in the day is give artists opportunity, you know what right. I'm saying? Give them, you know, some kind of resources that they can grasp and be like, man, I see these guys doing it. We need to try to get it too, you know what I'm saying? And it's open, you know what I'm saying, at the same time. So uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, albums. We're going to talk about videos. We're going to talk about, you know, some more uh, crazy things. So y'all stay tuned, man. It's Dallas out the dark, Trill Game TV. Pookie and Lucci, Roy Teasy, Ray T Boss. Walking into a fantastic clean office. Or coming home to a fantastic clean home. Hi, my name is La Monica, CEO and founder of Fantastic Four Cleaning Services, providing fantastic services for you because that's what we aim to do. Give me a call at the office at 469-730-3054. been injured in an automobile accident, I'm sure you're worried about medical bills, lost wages, and getting real compensation for your pain and suffering. But relax, I got you. I'm attorney Roderick White, and I've been fighting insurance companies since 2002. It's what I do, it's all I do. Never settle for less. Call us at 214 or 817, I got you. That's 214 or 817, 446 8968. SBA Investor Ready Business Plans, written in 21 days. McDaniel Consulting is recognized as being business plan writers since 2001. Dallas Morning News, New York Times Magazine, and Women's Day Magazine attest to these facts. Business Plans, 214-349-6564. That's 214-349-6564 or www.mcbusinessplans.com. Pookie and Lucci is in the building, man. Stoning Quick Records, man. I got Roy Teasy by my side, you know. Hey, it's going down. Uh, when we left from the break, we was talking about, you know, music and artists and stuff like that. Uh, what's some of the artists uh, that y'all worked with in the past 
and you know what I'm saying, are still working with to this day, and what some of the artists that y'all like to work with in the future, the new upcoming artists, or some of the mainstream artists y'all like to work with? Mm, man, that's a long little list. You know, but I mess with uh, a few people, you know, most of uh, Chief, uh, uh, a little bit, a little bit with Dro, uh, Tom, Tom, in fact, that's him. Yeah. DSO and him, uh, and a bunch of unknown that's from Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Take uh, nine. That y'all probably know uh, in the game. Probably uh, Take Nine, uh, Twister. Them yeah, some real, you know, uh, independent uh, artists, man. Trade they, the truth. Uh, yeah. Um, Got it, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Have y'all um, collaborated with any females yet? Yeah, a few. Okay. A few. R&B. R&B? Yeah. That's what's up. <laughs> well, I ain't, um, I ain't seen too many, um, it ain't too many female rappers out there. That's true, they're hidden. They're, they're hidden. They're hidden. They're, they're there, but there ain't too many that I've seen. I was at my boy's spot the other night. I was in the trap, and they was playing uh, some uh, stripper chick. Uh, the Dallas, you know, you know her name, Dun Dun? Uh, Stripper girl. I can't remember. Well, I got to share her shout out. She uh, she danced in one of these beat lives and black diamonds or something, but they had us CD playing off from there, so that's you know, they were trying to turn me on to it. So that's that's one of the first females that I've seen besides Mia, okay. Mia Lani. Is that is that how I say her name? Mia Lani. It's uh, how they. It's how she, where she from? She from Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about, right? The lights get to be up on the DJ D Real. Shout out DJ D Real. You know what I'm saying? But um, now nah, this cheap still coming on. Okay, that's cool. That's what's up. Any more? Any other artists you would like to work in Dallas? That's, that's, that's one of the things right now. I, I, I guarantee it ain't one artist. Probably one or two artists that say they ain't never did no music with me, bro. I done did music pretty much with everybody. What's in What's in the CD deck right now? Who you jamming? Uh, actually, somebody stole my CD player out of my truck, <laughs> so I ain't even yeah. riding no music. I ain't no music. Right, right, right now, I'm just I'm just jamming us. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Because uh, I'm in I'm in the uh, process of doing the new album right oh, now. Oh, y'all heard that now. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. It's coming. On the way. You know, when I do that, I don't listen to nobody else. Nowhere but my stuff, his stuff, or anything we have, we got going. Because okay. okay. it won't, so nothing won't influence me. What's one of the ones? Yeah. I, I, I jam a little bro, Mo3 though, bro. Mo3? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Mo3. I got to get my hands down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um. Him and my little bro, Yellow Beezy, you know, I, I support them oh, for really? what they doing, you know what I'm saying? I, uh, I support them for what they doing all the way. What's one of, uh, uh, I'm going to tell you, one of my uh, one of my favorite, uh, you know, tracks is uh, Late Night Coasting, out that Diabolical yeah. album, man, you know what I'm saying? That, that was, back in the day, man, I could take that song, man, me and my lady, we can go chill, we can ride, throw that joint on. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't too, you know, feminine. You know what I'm saying? It's just right. That's, you know what I'm saying? Funny. I just seen the uh, comment on, on that on YouTube. Oh yeah. It come to, every every time somebody comment comes to my email, so I be checking them out. They they, they love it. What's they what's love what's it. one of your Pookie and Lucci favorite tracks? I know you probably got too many. Um uh, man, I'm gonna say uh, oh, Crew for Life. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a classic. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say lifted. Lifted, I'm yeah, I like lifted too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, look, look, diamond? You ain't got one, two minutes. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Honestly, I don't even listen to that music no more. Yeah, listen to it in a long time. I like that one joint out the Dark Park album called If I Have To. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that was really, yeah, that was really nice. You gotta keep mine too, bro. Like uh, when we made a lot of that music, it was at a different point in life. I'm a different type of person. I'm a completely different human being than I am back then. So after the music, I can't even listen to it right now. You know it's so, classic though, bro. It is classic. It's classic. That's a classic past for me. Right, right. Ain't never coming back right now. You know what I mean? As far as the person, because it's different, man. You know, that's when I was young. I was, you know, I, I thought I was pipping for a second. I was yeah. doing this and doing that, no yeah. consequences. Now I got five boys, you know, it, it's, it's different, you know. Life's different, so I think different. So uh, some yeah. of that stuff that I listen to, I mean, it's no difference than when we used to go to the club or y'all or whatever, used to go to the club at 16, 17 and just mm -hmm. tear it up with no problem. Right, right, back right. the next weekend looking for it, but it's like now you're older, it's like, I don't yeah, 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 I got to live. You know, I'd rather go over here and just drink and chill at the bar. 
You know, okay. something like that. It's exactly. just like, I'm grown up now. So Already. some of those songs, nah. You working on anything new? You got anything new you working on right now? Yeah, I'm working on, uh, I got an album called One Time for Road I'm working on, you know what I mean? And uh, a couple more projects that's, that's going to be left around, left behind. But, Already. Uh -huh. That's what's up. You got a, you just released the album in uh, 2013? Yeah. Blue Flame? Blue Flame. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get some light on that, man. He, like, I, I still hear the old Pookie, man, and, and you know what I'm saying? It just brought back a lot of memories when I'm jamming that thing, bro. And I, you know what I'm saying? I like, I, I, I like you to keep it consistent, bro. You keep your music solid, man, and you got good content. And the beat, back in the day, man, I used to love y'all beats, man, because your beats was Dallas, bro. Yeah. Your beats was Dallas, man. And, and, you know, now, you know, you got a lot of different producers that's trying to sound. You know, it's not really, you know, I can't say it's Dallas. And I, I, when I hear it, I hear it like a line or uh, uh, something cool. like that. But they man, are, I, I want y'all to bring they it they gonna, back. It's going to stay stuff, going to sound like who they influenced by. And they right, going to tell right. who they influenced by. Uh, but that Dallas sound, man, is like, it's like DJ Snake, man. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That, that, that old nemesis, man, that bass. Yeah, yeah, that's, man. That's God, Dallas, man. man. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what everybody else is <laughs> trying to cook up and put as the Dallas sound, but right. that's that's what that's the sure Dallas no, sound. That show sure ain't no dance music. They tried to make the dance scene Dallas sound for a while, but it yeah. didn't. It didn't. You know, it didn't. Dallas, they, but Dallas made it like they put. Okay, okay, Perry. All right, but you said that. You said they tried to make that the sound, but it didn't take. But that era between 2004 to 2008, when dance music was popping, that's mm -hmm. when Dallas got its most notoriety. It besides did. what, okay, besides what me and Pookie and DSR did mm -hmm. from 2000 or whatever, Bo to 2002. Mm -hmm. But you know, when Will the Dougie hit, mm -hmm. the Stanky Leg, the uh, the Ricky Bobbies, the one that we were, the radio, you know, they weren't right, spending right, right. stuff like they were spending theirs, you know what I'm saying? Right, so right. it was like that. You gotta say that was the Dallas like, sound for that say, era. You would you say it was more of a uh, Adapting to the whole movement, or you know what I'm saying? Like, it was it was like a shift, though, man. Like yeah. they, they they tried to get the the uh, the harder music out the way because that little John thing happened and would drop, and they tried to put pin that stuff, and then mm -hmm. they you see what they did right after that. They all the clubs they shut them down. down. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know they went really and cleaned up everything, and and man, they ain't really number of bars. Few clubs, but they ain't like the clubs we man. I'm That's the difference. To, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me like, about it. Scene. Well, it's just like they they usher that in to kind of cool stuff down or right, something. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where where, where y'all think we at right now as as uh, Dallas music scene? Where you think we at? We, can we involve more? Like, or? like we always been. We got our own. We got our own scene. I guess that's different from anybody's anywhere. You know what I'm saying? We got a a collective of people coming here and you know going, but we got our own scene, man. You got some of the baddest rappers right, right. in the world, right? Right. And I Dallas agree Texas, with you. I agree you know with what you. Said, just ain't getting that notoriety. But Luja, how can we, how can we <laughs> help make it hotter? It's exposure, bro. There ain't no, you know, you gotta look at it. Every city that got some jumping, every city y'all name, whoever y'all name off the top of your head, the cities that got jumping, they got some major record labels there. Right. If not two to three, they got more than that, you know? And it's like, they have actual business, 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 these colleges, different things like that. Dallas doesn't mm -hmm. have that. Dallas like a retail market. Yeah, they right. just get money here. A lot of artists come mm -hmm. here yeah. to do concerts. Yeah. You think, you think if, if, we, if we build something, you think they'll come? If they, it's already built. Build it, they will come. <laughs> it's, it's, it's already built, it's just built. They, they come, they just keep it safe. Like, like, what, I, what, I, what I want to do is, you know, at this point of time, you know, I think Dallas yeah. needs to have, needs to bring together all the artists that's from Dallas that's doing something right now and really make a statement, bro. You need somebody here to show them how the business work and, and True. can't go through that. That's, that's what it point. is. Because everybody going off of stuff they done seen, heard, and, and thinking it's like this, business. thinking it's like that, and it's nothing like none of what they think. Right. 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 So they need somebody to come here and show them how it's done and follow that. Holiday. You think it could be done? It could be done. Let's start with the artist. Let's start with the artist, right? It, 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 it starts with that person, that individual. It doesn't always. It, it, it just, it's like 
a lot of artists are coming together because they want to make it. It's not just the artists. You got to be the people who's in the radio station, the PDs, yeah. the people who's with the DJ. It got to be everybody that collectively come and do it. But see, the thing about it is what you bump heads and get right into is all the artists say, okay, we want to make this Dallas music scene pump. Okay, let's do this. What the problem is, is one DJ will get behind, these DJs will get behind the artist to help him get pumping. Then he get pumping and he, he Google on the DJs, you know what mm. I'm saying? Mm. Or the DJs be like, all right, well, I done already helped too many artists try to do that, and they burnt me once they got mainstream. So mm -hmm. now, y'all got to pay me to do this. So now right. the DJ don't want to give out his free advice because right. he did it before and got burnt over. And it's like, everybody in the game said that. So it's like the trust, the trust level it's, up there is real yeah. shaky. So right. it's like it's hard for everybody to do business. Because like, okay, right, for example, we call everybody down here right now. And you know what I'm saying? We get everybody in this room, everybody ready. They're like, man, let's make a power album. Let's show people where it's at. Everybody be like, cool. But then the next thing everybody gonna say is, who dropping it and where the money coming in? You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the music can get dead, but what a tear apart is, who's gonna get the power Agreed. to say they put it out? <laughs> right, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. right. Can everybody can everybody suffer, suffer swallow their pride enough to let somebody else just put the project exactly. out to see to let the city be big or nah? I'm big. I'm a bigger artist than that artist. So it's, it's, it's more, it's more than ego. Yeah. 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 We should be on the cover. Right. Now, right why should y'all right. be on the cover? We here too. It's 35 people. We all can't be on the cover, you know. So it's like, it, it, it just, it's just, it's I mean, just conflicting. Yeah, it issues. just conflicts issues. But with all that ironed out, it can be. But it just, it's not just the artists. There have to be a lot more that has to come together to make that work. Exactly. So we have to lead by example to the artists out there. Exactly. Y'all, y'all hear, y'all hear from legendaries, you know, and you know that's the only way we can actually take Dallas to a Atlanta level or you know to an East Coast level. We have to emerge and come together as a unit, you know, like Houston did. I mean, Houston had, you know, even though they had their own differences and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, it was business. They came together, they made it work. And they all, you know, did they part. And you know, that's, that's why I think, you know, a lot of artists in Dallas have a problem doing is they part. You know, they yeah. want to do your part, my part, his part, her part. You know, and it's like sticking to your own lane, you know, and, and you know, it'll involve better. You know how you said the Ace Time thing, though? Mm -hmm. Exactly how you said they came together and did that? But look, when they came together and did that, they came up on two different heads. All them people came on the screw from the south side, and everybody DJs. came up on the Mike Watts from the north the side. DJs. So it was still somebody that was right there over them that was able to be able to take the credit to put it out. You know, because somebody has to put it out. And right. all those artists, they just went in there and dropped music. They weren't looking for money. They were looking for the love of the music. You know, music that's now. when you get the best stuff. Now, so you get in that business part. So we a lot of artists. We have it. They're looking to get paid and ain't did nothing. <laughs> I know I'm talking about Ooh, features and everything too much. Video. I'm like, man, I don't even want to say nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you know, I, you know, like Luffy said, man, it, it, it's got it got to be some kind of give and take. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be able to say, look, you know, we can make this happen. You know what I'm saying? Put everything aside. Let's just do it. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way to get it done is just to do it. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you say, it's gonna be artists that's gonna want to, you know, get paid and stuff like that. Them not the artists we need. We need artists that's gonna look, man. That's gonna come to the table. I'm gonna drop three albums. I mean, uh, three singles. I get three singles from you. Get three singles from him. You know what I'm saying? The serious artists that really want to put Dallas and you, know, they making movies here. Why not? You know, you know, make us. You know, music seems bigger than what they're they talking about. You know what I'm saying? We have to really, you know, bring it to the table. Like you say, you know, everybody has to do their part. But, man, y'all y'all been on billboards and, you know what I'm saying? And y'all y'all done made some, you know, some, some goals that, you know, people right now is, you know, really struggling trying to reach. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, yeah. what billboard y'all was on? Uh, uh, y'all got, like, 90 for 90? Uh, it was My Life. Uh, I have My Life and the single on my life gangster and uh return of the ripper like what about the fifty something yeah it was like fifty fifty nine that's nationwide right wow. yeah that was, that's, 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 that's really real hard work and dedication yeah, it's like man. three times two times one right. album and the next time with most single sold already and we get the other little deal turn on the ripper 
Hey, that's what's up, man. So y'all here with Pookie and Lucy, man. Y'all hear the conversation, man. Y'all know what we talking about. It's Dallas After Dark, Trill Game TV. When we come back, we'll have a little more fun, you know what I'm saying, on, on the set. So y'all stay tuned. It's about to go down. Have you ever had a question related to child support, divorce, CPS? Call the Attorney General or maybe an attorney and they just gave you a runaround? Where do you go to get help? Contact Dad's Fathers of Texas. Yes, they are child support specialists. Dad's Fathers of Texas can answer your question, help file paperwork, and help find a family law attorney. Dad's Fathers of Texas, making child support simple. What it do? Welcome back. It's your boy Ray T. Boss, Dallas South the Dark, Trio Game TV. Right now, man, we about to get in one of the Pookie's brand new videos. Well, it ain't brand new, man. This it's, it's might be new to them. If you ain't seen it, here it go, man. Crook for life. Crook for life, man. Y'all stay tuned. Jump it off, straight up ripping, pop my clipping, bless the word to the buster that's tripping. Over there, I take a see and finna get it, forget it, came with it. Play us in your place, I don't know who's spraying the mace, but I bet you little suckers better move before I get in the mood. Straight act the fool, hey, you really can't hold us, continue with stone when he bold us. Don't mind like ain't nobody told us, he crooks, came to oppose us. Take no us, a click of figures, I'm about to deal you, mister. Out of my face, boy, I will steal the bigger. Better yet, peel the bigger, feel the ripper. Ripping you foes up in his face, crushing his flows, you a disgrace. One to the dome. I'm up in this place, robbing his home, taking it all. I'll be down to ride. Dallas is bound to rise. Way that I turn, see now it's our time. Lyrical homicide. Stay to high, but we still blow. Still what? Still smoking, still cheaping up in this game. We ain't tiptoeing. See the dope blow it. I'm a tree fiend from the police team player. So keep your eyes on the night, cause I just might hit your crib. Now where you live, I'm a crew for life. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna f with me. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna get ready for the arm and get war. Better grab your heat, cause I'm ready to bomb quick. Start a group of players are keeping and crawling, busting their fools and whipping their jaws and pies. Man, never better slow your rolls. I'm sick of this nonsense. Ammunition be coated for days. Ready to blast all up in your face. Got cases big for the plastic grip. Pass the bookie on the bus if you trip. Soldiers like you never have seen. All the block, we all look mean. My team stay green. Money that is. None of my crooks have nothing to give. Taking your money and taking your girl. Open your mouth, get hit in your ear. Who in the hell do you think that you are? Messing with much as I I pull up your car, leave your bodies all ripped and blown like cave rock did in that abattoir. Haters and marks are dumped in the street, all of them blown eternally sleep. Ask me why did I bust them haters? My pet bull needed some food and meat. The streets are no longer safe for kids to cook. My flip and follow the live. Into the devious thoughts of players from Stony Cook. That's how we live. Cultural fast, training them last. Look by the part, then laugh at they. Charlie Group players are causing confusion, busting their haters. We going, hey. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna f with me. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna f I don't live now, sound like it's all in the zone, but you ready for the real tricks. Must have been that appeal tricks, but the trip mix, but you grill quick, and these haters wanna squid lick. Down on my grind, time to spit clicks, so what's the deal? Tricks, the drip clips, key can't feel tips. My buckets, I'm a chill spit, working, I'm a trick kid. Haters falling down like a second deal script. From my chicken in the field, gripping out with your kid, lifted, twisted, and the thug smoke. I'm in the grid, I play a lot of choke, followed by a loop, poke, fly nine high, and the crook blow. Creasing my jeans with the low smoke, black toe, no joke, crook low. From my chest, fuck the wrist. I seen the best, better test, turn the chest in the mess, surrounded by pyramid, it's cops and the press, release the press, like blues, a pan dude to the crews, like a fool with a stomach crook. Last time I play a look, then Play by the book, young life got took as his body shook. See, I'm the king, you the work, you know the bait for the tenure crane, cause you a mark, trickin' that's a born fact. You never see a crook actin' like that. We get down on stack and work a mind, make a money, make a track, gotta see find the snacks, bottles of peace, the birds with G for sweets, cut us how we gotta go. Never once took you slow, get the pull of geek dope, fuck a friend or a boat, make a figure die slow, trail, trail the logo, that a pimp blow, fold, show boat, even take a blow boat. So my brother never say no, owner D won't mo, cause I'm crook for life, diabolical. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. 
If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna f with me. Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. If you feel it, will you ball with me? Lay it down, I'm a crew for life. You don't wanna f with me. Hey, we back, man. I know y'all enjoyed that video. But right now, we got another one we about to throw in your face, man. Lucy, tell them what it do. Hey, this that new video, man. Too much out for my deep off in the game. Album. Check it out, man. Check it out. Trippin' what I'm swerving It's just too much inside this world to gain off conversation Too much in that gal, you know that's God's creation Too many cities I done hit within this last month Too many swishes I done bout to be my last blood Damn. Too many out there hold me down Foundation got too many bricks to blow me down Yeah, so you can huff and puff your Drop the top and let my swag talk Too much drink in my cup Too much push in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad Too many real Man, it's just too much shit, boy, I'm still here Too much drink in my cup Too much push in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad I'm still sipping, I'm still showing up I'm out in Philly, out in D.C., I'm still pouring up I'm out in New York, I'm in Cali with that boy, yo, got it I'm on the phone with big head, like, homie, I got it Tell my baby mama, chill, don't worry, I got it Everything I do out here, I'm doing for pride Whether it's breaking these or I'm saying nothing So when I come up off this road, I can't come hit some licks Too many bad too many real niggas Fraud, take cause my rims is bigger Too much cush in my life Too much drink in my Sprite Too much gold mixed with ice with ain't right Too much drink in my cup Too much cush in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad Too many real Man, it's just too much too much drink in my cup Too much cushion in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad Too many real Man, it's just too much That's why I'm running around with that cannon close Hopping that sun with candy dough She even smoke out up in my nose I'm pouring, drinking this lemonade Sipping, drinking this pineapple Say you go too hard to be sitting around an unsigned rapper uh, Unsigned rapper, that's cause I'm a full-time trapper I done lived out where the phone and broke, being broke It's hard to find laughter Know the game fans, that's why I gotta go grind fast And I tell you, cause you a mastermind Don't mean you don't have to mind, master And she like that shit Get in the room and try to bite that shit. Last night I slipped Blake mama went through a phone and I trying to fight that shit. I don't like that shit. Despite that shit. Still right clean with a dirt sprite mix On some OG my OG lit, how can I trip when I got Too much drink in my cup Too much cushion in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad Too many real Man, it's just too much Too much drink in my cup Too much cushion in my swisher Too much ice in my chain Too much rum on my vehicles Too many bad Too many real niggas Man, it's just too much
TV man, it's your boy Ray T Boss man. I'm sitting right here, man. Legends in the game, Dallas finest. You know what I'm saying? Pookie and Lucci, man. You know what I'm talking about? It's going down. Uh, are y'all into politics? Hey, I, I, I observe. What listen? You know? Right, right, right. What you think about uh, <laughs> Mr. Trump's? What's the Trump man? <laughs> he ain't doing them the same what they all think anyway. Yeah, that's, right. that's the trip thing. Do you, do you think they tripping with it, but they are that's, they, that's what they all think. You think they like him because he's a uh, independent runner? Because you know a lot of the uh, you know candidates that's running right now, they even had had some kind of back end or you know what? I, I've never seen this presidency candidate. Can, candidacy look like in these hills, bro. I, bro, it's like I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, never one of these people, and all of them is just like <laughs> regular. You got about what twenty people running? Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, you don't look like never one of them supposed to be president, man. Right, right. <laughs> what you think about Trump, Luke? Like I said, I feel like he just being uh, a, a normal, you know, a normal person. That is in his race, you know. That's he just. I mean, these that's conversations they, that they be having without us. It's just that's he, how they he just he don't care. He just having a conversation in front now. He don't, you know. Except he okay. He's not shooting it at the blacks as much. He's shooting it at the Hispanics. But once he get through shooting it at them, who you think he gonna shoot it at after them? You know what I mean? He's trying to clean some stuff up. I mean, he ain't. So you think right, 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 right. So you think by him being president, you think a lot of things will change, or who you think it change for the better or for the worse? Oh, the same people calling the shots now are gonna be calling the shots when he get in. He's just a face, bro. He's a face. They could probably do more because they could blame more stuff on him. You know what I mean? Right, and like you right. don't have people, you know. This is my opinion. This is my opinion. Right, 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 right. That's why I say it's just funny, man. That, that, that the whole United States even considering that, man. It seems it's, comical, like it's yeah, not even like, real. Man, what, what, is that all yeah, serious? Right, right, right. It's supposed to be United States of America, man. Right. Yeah. And you got a, a, a big in there, you know. TV host, billionaire. Yeah. Right. The, own, the well, the, the was one of the owners of the it's like American it's like Miss Universe mockery. pageant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 it's just a mockery, man. It's just wow. So, would, would y'all like to man. see Obama if he could run for third time? It'd be nice to see Obama in there, but you know what I mean? Look at Obama. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that dude's straight. Like you say, his head great in the mud now. He went in there all day, <laughs> day <laughs> now. You know, it's just. Prayer. It's, 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 it's really broke. They say y'all going there with good intentions, think they gonna do something. Right, like, right. You get in there, it's like the old, uh, that, that truth story. They get the, they get to, hey, I, I know you, you thought you was gonna do this, but this is what you gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you gonna do. Prison, yeah. It ain't, prison is nothing, bro. I think he, he I think Obama, man, he really been, yeah. really pushing, man, for us, you know, as a black community, man. But at the same time, he can only do so much. Yeah, only do you so much. Saying? And like, you know, if he really, if he really had the authority, <coughs> you know that you know that I, I know he don't have. Yeah. It'll it'll be a lot different. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it it'll it'll well, be a, a whole really, lot different. It know? will, but then you know they'll they'll do stuff. They'll hit him with stuff like, for example, y'all notice with um with the really every every. Uh, that every, that every, everything that done came out as far like with the Ebola, the bombs or whatever else, it all happened during 
promoting time with the campaign. Like when he was finna be start when that Ebola stuff hit down here, mm -hmm. that's when he was finna start doing that campaign for whatever type of that uh, that 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 the bills that they was finna start passing. You know, they had so much Ebola stuff going on to where they made him stay in office, don't do no campaign, and focus on the Ebola. Now when people, now the world's focusing on Ebola, but while they doing that. The other people, Republicans, they up here, they done uh, passed all these bills. Congress done passed yeah, all these know. bills. You know what I'm saying? Don't know nothing about. Now, once all the bills pass, now this Ebola done disappeared. It ain't around. It's a right, right, right. Like now it's back up front. Yeah, it's like a distraction. Right. They're going to keep doing it. They keep hitting you. You know, and they, they do it so much. They're they the masters of it. You know, and it's, right, yeah. right. You know, because. Like the, the masses, they only see what is presented in front of them on the TV, like the news and yeah. stuff like that. They're not going to really give you the actual information that you need, you know, to be looking out for. You know, they're going to sugarcoat it and make you look somewhere else, and then all of a sudden you get blindsided and stuff like that. Like you know, Fox so. News, boy, they crazy. Man, you know, crazy. Let me tell you. Damn, man. They will not report, you know, what's actually <laughs> real. You know, they will actually give you uh, yeah, uh, some whole crazy stuff. Some more negative um, uh, parts of For it. Yeah, right. it up. Man, the period. Like they it. just, they just, they're the straight, yes. throw everything negative out there. Yeah. 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 Even like, you about like, um, man, I know I got nothing to do with the presidency, but it's with the country. Like, all right, even the Sandra Bland thing just came up. Yeah. Nobody indicted. It's like, bro, that's, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, they indict me. For something that they don't even have, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. But they got this little woman dead in 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 custody, mm -hmm. and they still can't indict them on that. It's like, bro. They have just, all the proof, it's, it's and then sick. they have a mistrial. Yeah. It's just like, what's the deal, right? It's sick, man. Yeah. So you, I, I see, it, I see it getting worse, man. It's just. You thought it was getting better? Well, yeah, I just, you know, I was hoping that, but at the same time, you know, what what can we do, man, as as leaders, you know, because I see y'all as leaders of, of our young black community, man. What you think some of the things that we can do to kind of bring some kind of awareness to kind of, you know, because especially the youngsters, bro, they won't, they don't listen. You know, they think they is, you know, you know, harder than this table right here, you know what I'm saying? But what, 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 what kind of things that we can do to kind of bring some kind of attention to them, man? First thing, we must educate ourselves personally before we can help anybody else. You can't educate. If you don't know what you're talking about or you don't have the right information to pour into this person, you know what I mean? It doesn't work. Like I was reading an interview about Dick Gregory, uh, he's an activist, and he was talking about like, he asked the person, what do you think the most, uh, what's the most uh, powerful thing in the world? Is it knowledge? Is it power? Is it information? You know what I mean? And then. Everybody was like, well, it's power, it's knowledge, you know, this, this. And he was like, y'all ain't paying attention. Information is the uh, most powerful thing because with the wrong information, you got the wrong knowledge. Wrong knowledge gives you the wrong power, you know what I mean? But the right information, you know, and that's what they hide. Hold on, let's, let's talk about Say that one more time to the camera, man. Zoom in on him. So say that one more time so the people out there can hear you. Hey, and this is Dick Gregory for a lot of young people that don't know. He's an activist person. He marched with Dr. King. He do a lot of stuff. You know, he's an older person, but... He uh he said a lot of people want to know like well he asked the crowd he like what's the what's the three most what's the most important thing in the world he said is it information knowledge or is it power and then some people say it's power some people say it's knowledge and he hit him he says no information is the most important thing because with the wrong information you got the wrong knowledge wrong knowledge you got the wrong power so far on with the right information you got the right knowledge right knowledge you got the right power so it's like. Until we educate ourselves, we can't even help our youth. You know what I mean? We can't even help them. We can keep them or try to keep them out of trouble, but until we know what we're talking about, you know, it's hard. You know, and, and that's that's how they're they're, they're getting us, bro. Cause like back in the day, like doing the Black Power movement and stuff like that, you know, why Pac and them was so influential? Cause their parents was mm -hmm. feeding them this stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, feeding it to them. You know, it's very rare right now. You see. Anybody, right, right. Their kids or something that's something they different. Video games, yeah. and internet, and yeah, <laughs> and then all the all the books and all the information that we that we really want. Like, yeah, they're they're killing YouTube and the internet stuff has got everything like that. But if you notice, much, they're yeah. killing right, all the right, they're right. killing all the paperback books. They're killing all the real books, exactly. the real information. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like. You can only do so much, but educate educate yourself and educate the kids. You know, Start I, I can tell I can tell right now when well, you was on it at the house. Well, uh, you know, y'all don't take no mess. These, you these dudes, bro, Pookie and Montes. I know, like you know, Pookie and Montes and uh, Kevin A. Old, old record label. I mean, you know, he was amazing. He was on some other stuff, but uh, 
he opened my knowledge, oh, you know, as far as on starting to look past, because I'm a preacher kid anyway. You know, my daddy was a pastor, so, you know, I've been in it my whole life or whatever, but to really start looking into information and seeing what it really means, you know, Trip. Pookie, mm -hmm. Kevin, Ramont, just my bros, they helped right, me right. organize up to that. That's what's up, man. You know, growing up, you know, like you say, around older people, man, and, and having that knowledge, that's some of the stuff I went through, you know, I was, when I grew up, you know, I was, you know, eight years old, you know, hard labor, you know, working more in yards, and it, you know, and that hard ethic work, you know, it, it, to this day, it's, it's with me to this day, because it, it teach me, it teach me hard work, it teach me ethic, it teach me manners, you know, stuff like that, to, you know, nowadays, you know, it, it's all about memes and memes and yeah. emojis and, <laughs> and stuff like yeah. that, and, and you, you can't, you can't get nothing out for that, you know what I'm saying, all you get is a pigeon words, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, I think what we need to do more is, you know, I think parents and parents in, in you know, especially in our area, right. you know, we need to take away the games, take away the internet, and, and, and get them back to the basis. The basis is what, what really, where we come from, I know it might be hard, you know, because yeah. you can go to jail for whooping your kid right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's, it's, it's other ways that, you know, we can go by and, and to discipline them. Like, uh, like I did my son like this the other day, you know, he, you know, we were talking about keeping his grades up in school and everything, and he kind of got a little below, so, you know, instead of me, you know, taking all this to electronics, I started putting locks on stuff. I put a lock on this uh, cord that goes into the wall for his PlayStation, yeah. you know, and I locked his phone so he could get in it, so <laughs> it, he, he didn't have, I don't think I left open was, you know, uh, education, a place for him to read. You know what I'm saying? Do some math work and stuff like that. Instead of just, you know, you know, hey, 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 you know, I sit them down, you know, talk to them, you know, because they, they are young men, yeah. you know, young men and young women. Instead of, you know, back in the day, they we used to get, you know, they used to get tools by yelling and throwing stuff at us and stuff like that. But, you know, you can't do that now because the, the kids have become more rebellious. So, you know, you, you have to kind of, tone it down and kind of really look at them and talk to them, you know, face to face, eye to eye, really give them that, you know, that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, without, you, you can put free on them without touching them, yeah. you know, so I just think, you know, a lot of our youth, man, you know, is, is, is staring in the wrong direction, but, you know, I feel like there's a change coming, man, I, with us fellas and, and all the people that we surround ourselves with that's that that been through the struggle yes, that right know way. what to do with it's a Going way right exactly it's a way to wake us up to wake our youth up and to give them knowledge to where you know hey man let them know that what they doing is not what's up you know what i'm saying so and y'all keep doing y'all thing man we about to go to another commercial break we're gonna bang it right back dallas after dark trigger gang tv man mr pookie mr lucy raw t's in the building You've been injured in an automobile accident. I'm sure you're worried about medical bills, lost wages, and getting real compensation for your pain and suffering. But relax, I got you. I'm attorney Roderick White, and I've been fighting insurance companies since 2002. It's what I do, it's all I do. Never settle for less. Call us at 214 or 817, I got you. That's 214 or 817, 446, 8968. SBA Investor Ready Business Plans, written in 21 days. McDaniel Consulting is recognized as being business plan writers since 2001. Dallas Morning News, New York Times Magazine, and Women's Day Magazine attest to these facts. Business Plans, 214-349-6564. That's 214-349-6564 or www.mcbusinessplans.com. I'm fly, I'm feeling on top, guess, yes, I'm high I'm really, really not for y'all wasting my time So with that petty conversation, baby, pass me on by I'm feeling myself so lately I've been on some me and only me sh lately We be talking we, but only we sh baby It can be some we, but let me see the cheese, I'm baby I'm feeling myself, she feeling my sweat Fresher than a m the never pop the tail She say she wanna bounce, I say I wanna start Call. Yeah. She 
said she motor ready, independent that she tell it. Hey, buying this, she selling it. Every road you never read, just sitting high in the candy shed. 635, I'm ready. Like a full of green lips, with a promethas and fetish. Ain't another. Like me, man. Flow numb, I'm like a Viking dance. I'm in the hood like the ice cream man. I ain't now Dallas where I roam. It's a price no land. Why I keep a stare, you ass. I got a grip with two hands. I stay on top of my game. Cause I stay on top of my shit. It's stony crook when I'm broke. And it's stony crook when I'm rich. It's Mr. Pookie and Mr. Lucci. Blue diamond and ripple. Get the picture. The money's the issue. Now I'm just riding. I'm creeping up the block. I'm fresh. I'm fly. I'm feeling on top. Yes, yes, I'm high. I'm really, really not for y'all wasting my time. So with that petty conversation, baby, pass me on by. I'm feeling myself so lately. I've been on some me and only me sh lately. We be talking we, but only we it, baby. It can be some we, but let me see the cheese. It's cookie and I'm chilling, I'm just feeling myself. See a crew step in the place like I'm here, I'm here. Hey, Dallas, Texas swagger, it'll make a nigga back up. Beware of what I told, that's for you. See, she gon' catch up. I'm feeling so immaculate. Actually, I'm a high barrel, somewhat blue, but my eyes look on fire. I'll shoes is what I choose, and you know, and I'm creased down. That's my Dallas, Texas dress code. Yes, it's my own style. I'm goofy right now, feeling choosy right now. Baby girl says she like it, she can get used to my smile, but I'm feeling myself. I can't get used to her now, so I keep up my smile and choose to move around. They say, Poopy, you wow, hell yeah, when you know this petty conversation. I'm on some old shit, only crook bread to the head, I'm just smoking I'm on some meat shit and I don't think you can cope with it Now I'm just riding, I'm creeping up the block, I'm fresh, I'm fly I'm feeling on top, guess, yes, I'm high I'm really, really not for y'all wasting my time So with that petty conversation, baby, pass me on by I'm feeling myself so lately right. I've been on some me and only me shit lately Talking we, but only yeah. we shit I'm feeling myself. 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 I'm